In this lesson, we'll discuss how to write names and chemical formulas for acids. Please have your note sheet handy along with your periodic table and polyatomic ions list. There are two types of acids that we are going to be writing the names and chemical formulas for. The first type of acid is a binary acid. This is an acid that's made of hydrogen plus an atom of another nonmetal. So this type of acid is made of two types of atoms, and that's why we see the prefix bi. When we name these acids, we're going to use the prefix hydro. So think hydrogen. And then our anion, our nonmetal, gets an IC ending instead of an IDE ending. And then we always add the word acid. So for example, we have HBr. It's this compound starts with hydrogen, so that's going to be our signal that this is going to be an acid. And it's a binary acid because it's hydrogen plus one other atom. We start with the prefix hydro, and then bromine becomes bromic with an IC ending. And then we add the word acid. So HBr is hydrobromic acid. For HF, we've got the hydrogen again. It's going to be our signal that we have an acid, plus fluorine. Start with the prefix hydro, and then fluorine becomes fluoric. And then add the word acid. When we write the chemical formula for a binary acid, it's just like writing the chemical formula for an ionic compound. We need to look up the charges, and then we'll crisscross them, and those will be our subscripts. So let's start with hydrochloric acid. Again, when you see that prefix hydro, think hydrogen. Plus, our acids are going to start with hydrogen. Hydrogen has a plus one charge. And then chloric would come from chlorine. Chlorine has a negative one charge. When we crisscross those charges, we get HCl. We don't write the ones as subscripts. And you probably knew that hydrochloric acid was HCl anyway. Let's look at hydroiodic acid. Hydrogen has a plus one charge. And then iodic comes from iodine, which has a negative one charge. Crisscross those charges, and you get HI. The other type of acid that we are going to write names and chemical formulas for are ternary acids. Ternary or tertiary acids have hydrogen in them, just like binary acids, but instead of a nonmetal, there's a polyatomic ion. Let's talk about how we name these types of acids. We do not use the prefix hydro for this type of acid. That's very important. Hydro is for binary only. You might remember that the two most common endings for polyatomic ions are eight and ite. Those endings will be changed. The ATE ending is changed to IC, and the ITE ending is changed to OUS. And then we'll also add the word acid at the end. So in HNO3, we know this isn't binary because we see a polyatomic ion in there, and we see more than two elements. So no prefix hydro, and we just need to figure out what the name is for the polyatomic ion. This is nitrate. An ATE ending is changed to IC. So this is nitric acid. And that's it. In H2SO3, again, we know this is ternary. We don't use hydro. We just need to look at the name of the polyatomic ion. This is sulfite. 
it is changed to O-U-S. However, this is not sulfous acid. This is an exception to the naming rules. This is called sulfurous acid. We add in a couple of extra letters there, and then it looks more like sulfur. All acids that have sulfur in them will have the spelling change, so please know this. In the next one, H3PO4, PO4 is phosphate. 8 is changed to ick. However, this one is not phosphic acid. This one is another exception to the naming rules. This one is phosphoric acid instead of phosphic acid. Again, we've added in a couple of extra letters. Please know this exception as well. When we write chemical formulas for ternary acids, it's just like writing the chemical formula for an ionic compound. We need the charges. We'll crisscross those, and those will be our subscripts. So in perchloric acid, we don't see the prefix hydro. And so we know it's a ternary acid. We know it has to come from a polyatomic ion. We just need to figure out which one. An ick ending comes from an A-T-E ending. So perchlorate is the polyatomic ion that we're looking for. Because this is an acid, it's going to start with hydrogen. That's always a plus one charge. Perchlorate is ClO4 with a negative one charge. And so when we crisscross the charges, we get HClO4. For sulfuric acid, again, notice no hydro. That means it's a ternary acid. We just need the polyatomic ion. An ATE ending uh, will give us an IC ending. But there is no sulfurate polyatomic ion. However, there is a sulfate polyatomic ion. This one is an exception to the naming rules with a couple of extra letters added. We're going to use sulfate. So hydrogen and sulfate, SO4 with a negative 2 charge. Crisscross those charges, H2SO4. In carbonic acid, we have that ick ending again. That came from ATE, so we're looking for carbonate, hydrogen and carbonate, CO3 with a minus 2 charge. H2CO3 is the chemical formula for carbonic acid. Finally, we have a mixture of chemical formulas, both binary and ternary, and I'd like for you to write the names for these acids. Pause the video here and see if you can name these correctly. Then play the video and I'll show you the answers. For HNO2, there are three elements, so we know it's not binary. It's got to be a ternary acid. So what polyatomic ion is it? NO2 is nitrite. The ITE ending is changed to OUS. So this is nitrous acid. In HClO2, we have a ternary acid. It's made of more than two elements. And the ClO2 is the chlorite polyatomic ion. Again, the ITE ending is changed to OUS. And we have chlorous acid. In H2S, we have a binary acid, hydrogen plus one other nonmetal. And so we get to use the prefix hydro. And then sulfur um, is going to become sulfuric. 
Remember, there's an IC ending on the binary acids. Again, we see this kind of spelling change with the UR in there, and all acids that have sulfur in them, you will see the spelling change. So hydrosulfuric acid. Please take a moment to write the chemical formulas for the following acids. Pause the video here, and then I will go through the answers. In the first one, we have acetic acid. There's no prefix hydro, so we know it's not binary, which means it's a polyatomic ion. We just need to figure out which one. The ICE ending replaces the ATE ending in polyatomic ions, so we're looking at acetate. We always start with hydrogen, and then acetate is c 2 h 3 O2 with a minus 1 charge. So HC2H3O2 is the chemical formula. In the next example we have hydro. So this is going to be binary. It's going to be hydrogen and another element. Phosphoric points to phosphorus and that's a negative 3 charge. This acid also has a spelling change with the OR. And finally, oxalic acid. There's no prefix of hydro, so it has to be based on a polyatomic ion. An IC en ending replaces an ATE ending, and so we're looking for oxalate. Hydrogen and oxalate, C2O4, with a negative 2 charge. H2, C2, O4. Please do not reduce or simplify any of those subscripts, otherwise you will not be able to identify the oxalate polyatomic ion. So now you should know how to write the names and chemical formulas for both binary and ternary acids. Please complete the problem set attached to your note sheet. We will go through the answers in class.